our new seats, eh, Bruce? Well, Mom, we put our new seats in. Okay, so we put our new seats in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bruce, let's get serious okay. <laughs> on how to grease the rails. <clears throat> so we uh, took the seats out, and my beautiful bride did an excellent job of cleaning all the old crap off of these uh, seat tracks. Kind of nice. Uh, and she made a real good point of also getting the bottom sides. I mean, most of the weight and everything runs on the top, but it's nice because uh, the seat tracks on the, on the seats, they, they lip over and grab on both sides. Not only that, the return spring was not hooked up, so that didn't help out. So I'm gonna grease these and then uh, put the seat back in. You don't really have to use the really good stuff, but you know, it doesn't take much and this will last a long time. That's way too much right there. You basically just cut your fingers like that. Okay. And it's real important, really, to get it up here because when the seat goes back originally, it'll just take this grease all the way down. So real important to get a little bit more here than in the back, but we do want to get the whole thing. You don't want to over grease it because what happens when you over grease it, it just attracts the dirt. Dust bunnies, dirt. And the dust bunnies and the hair and the lint and the french fries. And and then, okay, so that one's done. A little shine to it. Okay. And two, when people start to reach down, maybe to, to adjust their seat, if you have too much grease, the last thing you want is your passenger to come up with a handful of molly lube. Yeah. Of course, you could just say, well, your fingers will never rust. <laughs> okay. okay no. Notice right here we have a seam for the carpet. And this is the way VW designed it. And I don't know why they had to put it right here, because if your seat catches, catches this little beating in any which way, and it did on my 69, how come it's not? And you force it, and boom! Pulls this, pulls this little puppy up. So I just don't understand their, yeah. their trip on that part. So there we go. Oh, need a little more. There's before. As you run your fingers along here, these are nice and straight. They've never been tweaked. Our '67 had a little bit of a ripple to them, <laughs> and the front, this front guy here on the one was kind of do do, kind of did a banana curl up there. And these here are your little locking tabs for your seat adjusters. It's nice to, to check to make sure those, these are very vital to keep the seat in place when motoring down the road. So, um, before you put your seats in, these are your locking tabs and you want to make sure that those are really in nice shape. They are spring loaded. Lots of times the spring's either broken or missing. Uh, these are really nice. Really, really nice. You pull it down there and it's locked. Then when you Right? Of course, you want to move your seat, just slip, slip that puppy up and slide out of your seat. Oh, and here's where you can see where your, your, your tracks overlap on the seat themselves a little bit. So there you go. Okay, we'll put one in here. Okay. Okay, so the key is to get the, there we go, the runner started. Oh, sorry people, hold on. Here we go. Whichever these are in 67 seats. Okay, and this slide, hook your spring up. This should be a little thingy, right? About there somewhere. Oh, yeah. There you are, there you are. Okay, so now that that's in. Okay. <laughs> I lift on the seat a little bit, 
because if it isn't in the track it'll lift right back up and it won't lift so it's on the track and I move it back a little bit and then when I do I get up in here I'll have grab handles okay and then there it is there we are we're locked in Maybe you can see it here, where my finger is down in here, there's a little spring clip they introduced in 69 to prevent the seats from completely sliding off inadvertently. Yeah, so once the seat slides onto a certain point it locks in. Molly lube on the seat tracks for nice smooth operation of the seat. Ya yeah, Hans, ya yeah, yeah, Otto. Otto. This is good grease. You don't need to use this kind of grease. Some people actually even use dry uh, graphite powder. Uh, and that advantage is it does not attract dust like this. The disadvantage is it does not last nowhere near as long. Nowhere near as long. Okay, so that's looking pretty cool. Get this in here somehow. Oh, there somehow. Come on, baby, get in there. There we go. So I guess for me the key is to get that inside track just started a little bit. You kind of got to start them pretty much the same, really. There's no okay. getting them. Let's see if I can. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and there they are. Yeah, there we are. Okie dokie. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you. Uh, look, it's even adjustable. Put it there, <laughs> put it back there. <laughs> okay, Bruce, let's get serious. Okay.